some sweet GoPro footage, Apple Music is getting a makeover, Instagram business pages are coming, and more. It's Thursday, May 4th, and this is Crunch Report. May the 4th be with you all, TechCrunch land. Happy Star Wars Day. Take a moment to think how lucky you are to live in this day and age when technological breakthroughs happen every day, people are living longer, healthier lives, and want to do good. It's not a perfect world by far, but it's a good one. Anything with space gets me pumped, as you can tell. Let's start with this. GoPro strapped a couple Hero 4 cameras onto a rocket and sent those cameras into space to get some sweet shots. This shot, and this one, yeah, and this one. Oh my God, they're so nice. The launch in the video took place from Spaceport America in New Mexico on November 6, 2015 with a 20 foot tall Space Loft 10 sounding rocket from Up Aerospace. It was carrying a few science experiments. Technology. In June, it will be the one year anniversary of Apple Music and also, according to a Bloomberg report, the debut of a redesigned and hopefully improved musical experience at Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference. Apple Music has been negatively received for its confusing interface, which reviewers have referred to as cluttered and difficult to navigate, a confusing mess, and so crammed with items, lists, and menus that it's hard to find things initially. According to Bloomberg, the team has described the improvements as being more intuitive to use and it will better integrate its streaming and downloaded businesses. Apple's online radio service will also be expanded at that time. Let's see how this all turns out in June. Uber has created a public policy advisory group that will help it navigate as it expands into new countries, and that's good because whatever it can do to stop getting fined everywhere they go, they'd probably like that. It wants to shape yet to be established public policies that will govern the ride sharing economy. Uber chief advisor David Plouffe noted that only a few years ago, California was the only place that had regulations in place for ride sharing. The advisory board held its first meeting earlier this week and Plouffe said, we had vibrant discussions about every aspect of our business and the unique challenges and opportunities Uber faces around the world. Instagram business profiles have been spotted like the made up elusive white bearded unicorn of the Nairobi in the wild. The profiles, which are currently being tested with a small group of users offer a variety of useful features for those who run a business account on Instagram, including a contact button, access to maps and directions, and the ability to categorize the business by type. An Instagram spokesperson confirmed the profile saying, we are testing new business tools coming to Instagram in the next few months. Interesting. We couldn't get a specific launch date, but we should know more in the near future. You know when you're in high school and you're young and hip, you pull up to your friends in a nice coolest mm, minivan? Oh, you don't? Well, that's the story of my high school life. You're missing out. Google's first direct self-driving car collaboration will be with Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, and it is going to be a Pacifica minivan. A bigger car like this could be very useful for people with disabilities, senior citizens, hordes of children. A car like the Pacifica is a pretty realistic testbed for exploring such real life scenarios. Around 100 vehicles will be specially prepared by Fiat Chrysler to work with Google Sensor Suite. For the present, they'll be limited to testing on the company's California test track. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. May the fourth be with you, nerds. See you tomorrow.